Hey everybody, this is Video Fort Charlie with your first of uh, Introduction to Premiere tutorials on this series. Uh, lesson one is just going to be about starting a new project, uh, but the goal of these general tutorials is to give you a broad overview of Adobe Premiere CC 2017 so that by the end of these lessons you'll have learned basically how to start a project, import, cut, and deliver everything in Adobe Premiere. So first off, I would recommend that if you haven't done so already, update to the most recent version of Premiere or 2017 is what we're going to be using today um, so that you can follow along with everything. So once you have it installed, a little icon should show up down here in your dock. Go ahead and click on that to open up Premiere. You'll see a little loading screen here. That screen basically is just going to start loading all the stuff into Premiere for you, plugins, whatever you might have. So if it's your first time Running Premiere might take a little while, don't worry about that, just let it go ahead and do its thing. And then once it's done, you should basically be prompted with this opening window. To start a new project, all you have to do is just go over to the left here, click on the New Project button, and it'll give you some parameters that you can set for this project. So I'm just going to name this project VF Tutorial Sample. Now underneath that you see location. You can go ahead and browse to where you would like to actually save this project. I have my blank hard drive here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically set it into a projects folder. Now what I like to do, and you guys can go ahead and change this if you'd like, I like to create an actual project folder for each project that I do. So I'm just going to call this one VF Tutorials. And I'm going to create a folder within that. That's going to be called 01 projects. That way I can save all of my projects into a projects folder. Go ahead and choose that. So now that this particular project will be saved there and everything else will be pretty much set. Now, just so you know, there's some tabs down here so you can set the more advanced settings yourself if you'd like to. Under the Generals tab, there's Video Rendering and Playback, which is basically your graphics card or different kind of playback options. I just have it set to my graphics card. It'll usually select the one that is most appropriate. Video is just giving you display format. Time code is good. Audio display format. Audio samples is good. And Capture is to DV. That's fine. We're not going to be doing any capturing for this tutorial, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, under the Scratch Disk tab, there's a few settings here that you should be familiar with. There's captured video, captured audio, video previews, audio previews, project autosave, CC libraries, motion graphics, template media. This is just basically asking where do you want to save all of these different things. So we'll go over them one by one because I personally like to set some custom settings here just to keep the project a little more organized so I'm not having to scramble later on down the line, especially if you have a very big project. So first thing, captured video. This is if you're capturing anything in Premiere, it's going to save the video files there. Now, what I generally like to do is I like to go to my project folder and create a folder for footage. So I'm going to call this one 02 footage. Now, this is where I'm going to dump any of my raw footage as well as any captured footage, whether it be in Premiere or whether it be outside of Premiere, this is where it's going to be located. I'll go ahead and choose that. So that setting's now set to there. Now, for audio, I like to create a separate folder within that same project. I'm going to call this one 03MX, just abbreviation. I'm going to go ahead and choose that so any of the captured audio will be saved there. I'll also dump any audio that I might have in that folder. Now video previews is basically just your render cache, you know, where you want to save those files so that Adobe can load things a little more quickly. I just create a 05 folder for that and save both the video preview and audio preview to that folder. Now you might be wondering why didn't I do it 04? Usually I set 04 to GFX or graphics, um, so I'm just going to leave that number blank for that. Now autosave, I just saved that as the same location as the project. This is just in case the project crashes or whatever. There's usually an autosave that's going on periodically that you can always reference back to to load the project just in case things go bad. CC libraries, downloads, you don't have to really worry about that in these tutorials, but I just save it as same as project. Same thing with motion graphics. Now, once you have all these parameters set, 
you can go ahead and go down to the bottom here and click OK. And there you go. Premiere has now created a new project for you with all those parameters set. So now you can start importing your footage, cutting your footage, whatever you might need to do. Now in our next tutorial, we're going to just go over basically the interface of Premiere so that you know what all these panels do and where everything goes. So you become more familiar with the interface and then we can get into the more in-depth stuff such as cutting, importing, all that good stuff. So for now, this is Video4Charlie signing off. Until next time.